वेलकम टू माई चैनल इट्स इन को इनफो ट्यूबर इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ब्रीफली एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द बोन क्लैविकल इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच दैट वीडियो प्लीज काइंडली चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन आई हैव ड्रॉप द लिंक इफ यू डोंट गेट दैट लिंक प्लीज काइंडली ओपन माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द प्ले लिस्ट दैट आई हैव क्रिएटेड सपरेट प्ले लिस्ट फॉर द बोन्स इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू ब्रीफली एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द बोन स्कैपला while i am explaining please keep your bd chauris a textbook with you and observe the points which i have explained if you don't have a bd chauris a textbook please kindly note down the points that i explained so it will help you to revise during your exams don't forget to subscribe like and share to your friends let's start so this is scapula in latin the scapula means shoulder scapula placed on posterior lateral aspect of thoracic cage imagine that my hand is thoracic cage so this is scapula placed on posterior lateral aspect of thoracic cage this scapula have two surfaces three borders three angle and three processes okay let's move forward first point we will come to side determination the lateral or glenoid this is called the lateral part of the scapula or it is called glenoid because there is a presence of glenoid cavity this possesses the large angle okay next the dorsal the dorsal is quite convex and there is a presence of triangular spine divide the convex part of the scapula into supraspinous fossae and infraspinous fossae let's come to the costal surface this is the costal surface it is concave and occupy the subscapular fossa to fit on convex chest wall chest wall is convex it fits the convex chest wall the, the thickest lateral border possesses the glenoid cavity inferior angle this is the inferior angle let's come to the feature of scapula first i have divided features into two surface three borders three angle and three processes let's start from two surface two surface you know that is a costal surface and dorsal surface first we will come to the costal surface you and i have already said that the costal surface is occupied by subscapular fossa it is concave directed medially and forward it is concave directed medially and forward marked by three longitudinal ridge 1 2 3 thickest ridge will adjoin the lateral in which it is a rod like structure and act as a lever for serratus anterior okay serratus anterior will come here in uh, attachments i will explain about that this rod like structure will act as a lever for action of serratus anterior in which while overheading of abduction of arm okay the costal surface is over let's come to the dorsal surface the dorsal surface there is attachment of spine of scapula and, and this spine divide the scapula into smaller supraspinous fossa and larger infraspinous fossa okay and these two fossas are connected by a spinoglenoid notch this is a spinoglenoid notch this is spinoglenoid notch situated laterally towards the root of spine this is root of spine and this notch is called spinoglenoid notch fine let's move forward the two surfaces over let's come to the three border superior border lateral border medial border superior border lateral border medial border let's come to first superior border superior border is thin and short near to the root of coracoid process this beak like structure is called coracoid process this superior border is near to the coracoid process in which in between these there is the presence of suprascapular notch this is suprascapular notch this is suprascapular notch okay next so next let's come to the lateral part this is the lateral part it is thickest at the upper end it presents the infraglenoid tubercle there is a tubercle here this presents infraglenoid tubercle okay next come to the medial border medial border is thin extends from superior angle to inferior angle this is superior angle and this is inferior angle this is the medial border medial border extend from superior angle to inferior angle okay let's move forward the three 
three borders are over let's come to the three angle you have no the already two angles that is superior angle inferior angle the third angle is nothing but the lateral or glenoid angle so let's let us see first superior angle superior angle is covered by trapezius okay superior angle is covered by trapezius next inferior angle if inferior angle is covered by latissimus dorsi when arm is abducted it move forward around the chest let's come to the lateral angle lateral or glenoid angle is a broad base a glenoid cavity or a fossa in which it is directed forward laterally and slightly upward okay forward laterally and slightly upward okay the three angles are over let us come to the three processes the three processes are the spinous process acromion process and coracoid process let us come to first spinous process the spine or a spinous process it is at a triangular plate of bone okay it is a it's it's like a equilateral triangle and have a two surfaces it divides the dorsal face into supraspinous and infraspinous fossa it posterior border is called crest the posterior border is called crest this crest divide the spine into upper lip and lower lip okay let's come to the acromion process this is called acromion process the acromion process the acromion process have a two border and two surfaces that is that is the medial border lateral border superior surface inferior surface and in which it consists of facet for clavicle it consists of facet for clavicle okay next coracoid process this is coracoid process in, in greek it is like a crow's beak okay it is directed forward slightly lateral and bent like a finger okay it is atavistic type epiphysis okay so that's all for today's part 1 video in my part 2 video i have explained about the deep attachments of muscle and ligaments of the scapula please do watch my part 2 video if you feel this video is helpful please do subscribe and share to your friends after today's i will upload my part 2 video until that you study and finish this much portion of the bone if you have any questions please do comment below i will definitely answer your questions and also comment the what type of videos would you like to watch from my channel and definitely i will do that video for you it's in coin for tubers see you on my next video until that bye bye